Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of this Minecraft series. In the last episode, we had an awful lot of trouble with mining stupid iron, which was so annoying. Ah! But in this episode, I'm going to cook some. I'm cooking 16 of them. Because, and I'm going to put two bits of charcoal in there. And I'm gonna put literally I'm gonna shove the rest in here. I'm gonna sort this out at some point. But for now, I'm just gonna shove it all in here. Look at all that wood. I'm not gonna need wood for quite some time now. But there is something I did wanna do. And there's actually like a sheep pen that I kinda wanna build. You kinda saw it in the last episode. It was basically the thing that was partially destroyed. Oh wait, I need a pickaxe for that, I believe, because there was some stone. And need some, possibly some mud as well. Or dirt even. Just because I don't know what the damage was from earlier. But that's fine. I think I shoved everything in the other chest. Like I said, I will sort them out at some point. I don't need a lot. And I'm going to have to make some more, I believe. Got some charcoal there. I don't need to go to the little crafting table because just go boop and there we go that should be enough for now let's go back to my uh, little little pet project now I believe it's just over here and there are a few oh yeah because there's the giant uh, yew tree yew tree forest thing which I may go walking through at some point however there's another area I want to explore first and that's basically where that creeper blew up last episode and this is where I wanted the sheep pen to start so I know I'll tidy that up but what I was basically doing is you see this line here I basically did an outline of where I wanted this farm this this uh, pen to be so I might extend it out just a bit because so I want to be really careful because there's like this ravine here and I don't want to go too far so and plus, if I extend it out just a little bit, just a little bit, let's extend it out by one, two, three, four, five, six, that's fine, that's cool. And I'm just going to mine out the rest of this. And this, in this episode, the, my main aim for this episode is to build this sheep pen. That's literally my main aim. I mean, okay, it's probably not the most exciting thing in the world, but hey, this is what I want to build. Because one of my main aims, one thing I'd love to do, is I'd love to have sheep for like every type, every different type of sheep colouring. And there's quite a few. There are quite a few different sheep colours. I think there's roughly about 16, 17 or something around about that figure. I'm not 100% sure, but some of the sheet colours are look absolutely awesome. And I'd like to get in the action, get myself a few sheep and see what I can do. So literally, just going through the outline, now that I've done the outline, I'm just going to cut into the middle bits here and make this completely empty. Get rid of all this dirt. Because I just want one layer of dirt. I don't want anything fancy. And for some reason I like it square. I don't like it round or oblong shape. I like it. I like it straight and rectangular. Oh. However. I also don't like this being there. So that's going to get completely mined out. And I may even get some free non. Oh. <coughs> pardon me. But that's not cool. There we go. There we go. I'm happy with that. And that's what should be happening. The sheep should just be grazing. And. There we go. Yay! They're happy. Now to get rid of this bit. Oh god, yeah. Should have thought about that one a bit. But yeah, there we go. I'm now mining this segment out. As you can see from periodically, you'll see some of the dirt randomly turn into grass. 
Although this will only happen if the dirt block is adjacent to a, a dirt block which has grass on top. You will probably see some of it while I'm doing this. And you may have already seen some this episode or in the previous episode of this series. It is also showcased on plenty of people's YouTube channel that decide to do Minecraft for a living. Or well, not really a living, but have that as a primary video objective. Which is pretty cool, because Minecraft is a very versatile game in many aspects. You've got the survival mode, which is what I'm playing. And then there's also creative mode, where you can basically do whatever you want. That's kind of what you use for the Valentine's Day episode. The one where I blew up the heart. Which, you have to admit, looks absolutely impressive. The way that heart just like blows up and goes into like many little pieces and then um, it kind of kills through the enemies and whatnot. I kind of did like a couple of test goes with it and kind of killed like this patch of uh, slime balls. Um, it wasn't intentional but it was incredibly funny and I what um, I didn't realise is that I wasn't even recording so I was kind of so annoyed but it did look so cool how they just shrank and... They went into little bits, I've got tons of slime. Again, I think creative, so it actually doesn't really mean a lot, but still, it's a little thing. The little things count in this game. Anyway, I'm kind of like going off on a tangent here, but what I'm basically doing is collecting all of this dirt. This dirt will come into handy a bit later because I intend to do some real heavy duty big farms, and for that, I need a lot of dirt. I also need a lot of wood, but I, like I mentioned in a previous episode, I went on a mass grinding spree before these set of recordings. Um, in terms of the schedule for this series, I'd like to get an episode up every two days or so, just to kind of maintain, uh, maintain a continuous flow of episodes. Um, it may there may be a few episodes that come up a bit later because I'm a little bit busy and my schedule's tight or something but please don't fret I will have a new video up for you guys at some point hopefully the day after if um, it all kind of goes belly up but I will try and make sure these episodes are uploaded once um, every 48 hours at 7 o'clock so like if the first episode released on Thursday um, Speaking of which, I just kind of heard the episode back, and I'd like to thank the people which have kind of fed back. Um, I hope you noticed that I turned down the um, sound effects slightly, and a particular shout out to DT Gamer HD for pointing it out to me. Um, so thank you. Um, I do really appreciate it, and yes, I do listen to my people, and so yeah, always listen to your people. Yeah, man, I am awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. I am hitting loads of seedlings. We have a oh, baby, the seed. Yeah. Meanwhile, I see a sheep head. That's not important right now. What are the odds that it's actually going to turn dark before I get this done? I really should have got a shovel with me. That would be so smart. But of course, I didn't think of it. I just thought, oh, let's go and uh, mine it. Go and cold tacky. Which, to be fair, there isn't really a lot to dispose of. Yeah, there isn't really a lot to dispose of, so I don't, I don't even know why I'm fretting at this point. There you go. But if they're just like, going to go... Yeah. And anyway. Over there we can see like a yew tree like foresty thing. I think that contains yew trees and whatnot. There might be something else in that. But I'm not understand. Is that another mining complex? Are you serious? Oh. Well that could be like some kind of underground uh, storage system. But I won't worry about that for now. I did not even realise that existed. I don't know why I wanted to go look at it right then, because it actually serves no purpose into what I want to do. I come here to build a sheep pen. Instead, I want to look at holes. What's the point of building a sheep pen to look at a hole? If I want to 
look at a hole, I'll go dig myself a hole and then I'll look at it. Alternatively, I'll get a real spade and dig a real hole and look in that hole. So, yeah, I've got my bases covered. I do not need to see that. But in more important news, I'm going to go look at that once I've gone to bed. So I'm going to run over to my bed. And then we'll come on with that. That's actually looking really good at the moment, that. Um, I also did a bit of a, um, a grow spurt with that. And I managed to get like two runs of stuff without going all the way fully. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I was looking for something here. Oh no, I was looking for the bed. Oh god. Oh god, yeah, get in the bed quick. Hmm. This is what I get for being indecisive. Uh, right. I'm going to take this just in case the worst happens here. But what I am going to do. That was something I was so going to do. Yeah, I was going to take the apples with me. Just in case. Oh. Yeah. Ah. There we go. Now I'm free. So now I'm going to go back to that area and hope that nothing has spawned. Nothing could better spawn on this area. As I go flaming nuts. And no one did. So it's cool. Now let's go back to the area that wasn't being mined out properly last episode. Well not mined out but kind of sorted efficiently. And let's see where we can make it go a little bit quicker. You know, I think I was probably going to get some wood, but yeah, I'm just going to clear this out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, there we go, I'm just clearing out this area, and I'm going to see what I can do. You know, I think it'd be really cool if, like, on a random occasion, like, a UFO, like, came down and then just put some, like, random enemies on the ground just for kind of fun, see how people react. And, uh, you know, and then you could, like, have two main villains or something and just have them separate games. But when you bring the games together, the two villains, like, work together in some kind of odd thing. I don't really know whether that would work, but I'd like to see it. I would personally like to put uh, something probably against Spider-Man versus Batman type thing or Spider-Man versus Dr. Octavius Dr. Dr. or something along like those lines. Or, yeah, you would have to reinvent the characters if you're going to like do something again. So I think most of the stuff you could probably do with Spider-Man in its current state has already been done. But that's fine. That still makes it good. Like Teenage Mutant Ninja Newton Turtles, the original series, which was dubbed um, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in the UK for censorship reasons, which is kind of annoying because the only thing they censored was nunchucks and a few other minor little bits. If you don't know what I'm talking about, type in uh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles into uh, Google and see what comes up. Because. The thing is with that, is that is an awesome thing. And the more awesome the better. They are looking pretty efficient, but what I now need to do is I need to go back into the house real quick. I actually need something from the house. I need wood. Gotta get me some wood. Get me some wood. Gotta get me some wood in the morning. It's not really morning, but... What I want to do, because I think I know roughly how to build this thing which is fine but it will mean that I think I'm going at home a bit more so what I'm basically doing is grabbing some wood and I'm now going to build I'm grabbing a lot of wood in fact I'm grabbing like that many stacks because boom 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 Boom. 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 
Okay. Says so this, this, this. I'm gonna put 64 in there each. And 64, 64. Gate. Okay. So that means boom, 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 boom. Oh god. Alright. That should be enough actually. Let's get this show on the road. So once I've got the show on the road, it'll be all hunky dory. So, let's go back round and go to the sheep pen. And then, and see if I can put the finishing touches onto this lovely place that we just built. You know I love new places. I love how pretty they look and all that. So, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to build this thing. First of all, I'm just going to start building the fence. I'm going to build one. And I'm going to leave a door there. Actually, no, that's where the door will be. Yeah, because that's where the gate's going to be. So if I grab the gate and just put that on here. And then the rest I can use as fence. Which I'm going to do now. There we go. Yeah. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Because now I've got everything really. I like to think so anyway. Actually, this is going to look so cool. This is actually going to look so cool. Me, a giant sheep farm. Because sheeps are cool, I guess. Never knows sheeps are pretty cool. Anyway, back on the business. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. And yeah. I've got like a fresh stack, or I had a fresh stack until. So then I can finish the job off while awaiting the next objective to come with Aranopedia. So just going to complete the call. So now, move forward. Move forward and uh, go and take on all of these. Build up to it, build up to it, build up to it. And there we go. Yay! There we go. I've now built a fence. I am proud of myself. Nothing exciting, but it's a fence. A fence. So that is a sheep pen. I mean, I also want to build myself a giant farm. Just like another farm thing. But that can wait for a bit. Let's actually go explore, to be honest. I fancy an explore. And I think this direction seems like the perfect direction to go in. But because I'm going to go explore, I'm going to put these down because I don't quite know where I'm going to go. And if I do get lost. Yep. Oh, sure we can now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting to put down these because this is the whole point of me exploring. It's a me to put down a wee bit of torches just so that I know what's actually going on. And this is quite pretty scenery. Oh yeah. So dark away in the off mount found conference of of a centre Oh oh I see something that I might like. Is that what I is that what I think it is? Wait, what what the What? No way Is that how, how is that possible? There's a second village. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. 
Oh, cool. There's a second village. Oh, my days. Oh, cool. I know what I'm doing next episode then. Wow. That is awesome. Oh, and, and there's like a bit of lava. No one really cares about that. Because, oh my god, there's a second village. Oh my god. And I'm just doing this. And then, oh no, direction to it. Oh my god, that is awesome. But I have just seen that it's getting no near to the end of the day. So I'm going to start making my way to the bed. And in the next episode, now that we discover that second village, I'm going to go investigate and see what that second village has to offer. And see what where we go from here. Can we link it to this village? Who knows? But that is to come sometime in the future. Maybe. If I get around to it. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. This has been Robotic Master. And this has been for me signing off for the evening. And I can't sleep. I want to sleep. Let me sleep. Let me end this episode in sleep. But have a lovely day, guys. And don't work too hard. Thank you for watching this episode. And why won't you let me sleep? I want to go to bed, man. Oh, come on. Let me sleep now. It's bloody night time. It's dawn. There we go. There we go. Finally. So, have a lovely day, guys. It's now the end of the episode. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And this has been Robotic Master. Also, another thing to know, I've not died, DTHD Gamer. I mean, DT Gamer HD. Whoops, I messed up your name one more time. I didn't die, and it's not a death every episode, so ha!